Yo, what the fuck is up? It's your boy, Nasty Nat, aka B Parse the Retard. And the first lesson that I'm going to be teaching you all out there in the internet digital realm is about. <laughs> junk food. Yes, I know. Junk food. Why? I, I don't understand, Nasty Nat. What the fuck is going on? Why are you talking to me about warheads and all type of craziness? Look. I'm not just going to be talking about junk food. I'm going to be explaining junk food and the human DNA. Yeah. <laughs> I know it sounds like rocket science, but it's not. Well, it, it actually is rocket science because rocket science isn't that hard. But yeah, first of all, why the fuck do they call it junk food? And if you ask me, I'm assuming it's the same reason why these scientists smarty pants call unidentified DNA enzymes junk DNA. It, it, it correlates in some way. First of all, okay, what is DNA? Yeah, sure, it is the genetic makeup of blah, 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 your parents and the, the, all that shit that these scientists want to, you know, feed you. But... DNA, it actually is the story that you have written out in your life. That's what it is. DNA is everywhere. You see this? Look, you see me going like this in this ether? I'm going through DNA right now. I just use my free will to just do this and show you guys. Okay, anyways. So, considering how DNA is a story, or it's a pre written story, I know I'm going to have some atheists out there open for arguments about destiny and free will. Um, here's my theory about that. We, the people, you, that are watching this video on YouTube or however you might be watching this, whatever medium, doesn't matter. You, at one point, have been with this eternal source of energy. We call it God. You call it whatever the fuck y'all want. I, I call it God. I like, I like that word. So we've been there with that source before. We are a part of that source to this day. Now. We were, while we were part of him, we wrote down our whole life, what we wanted to live through in this third dimensionally lived reality. Now, so that's, that's the pre-written destiny issue right there. That, this has already been written, you, you, whether you like it or not, I mean, whatever. You might be like, oh, why did God do this to me? You wrote it, you know what I'm saying? Don't blame it on him. You, you're here to overcome these hurdles, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, train of thought to gotta tap into my linear part. So sometimes, okay. So, <clears throat> here's where free will and destiny come into play. You do have the option of choosing what you want to eat, right or wrong. Right? Yes. So choosing junk food will do nothing but eat up your junk DNA. Well, your quote unquote junk DNA. They tell you it's junk, but it's, nothing is ever junk. No, nothing is junk, not even garbage down the street. All of that is information. Everything is information. So nothing is junk. Junk, I, I gotta create a word for that word junk because it doesn't make any sense. I mean, we have to identify what junk is and the junk to who? To whom is it junk? Is it junk to you? Is it junk to me? Okay, where well, everything, everything is, uh, um, and you can see this uh, junk food eating junk DNA if you know basic nutrition. Um, junk food is basically jam packed full of preservatives and antioxidants. Yes, I mean, antioxidants, we, we have heard this term a lot lately, uh, thanks to this like hippie, whatever, healthy, whatever. But we've only been taught about the positive antioxidants, which are like an acai berry, you know, shit like that. But there's also bad negative antioxidants. I'm talking about the real bad. Like, for example, there's one called TBHQ. You can find it in uh, potato chips, fucking plantain chips. You know what I'm saying? Like, you wouldn't expect it, you know? And, well, this is, this is information I got off Wikipedia, you know what I'm saying? Just off searching real quick. And uh, it states here, in high doses, it has some negative health issues on lab animals, such as precursors to stomach tumors and damage to DNA. Tells you right there, damage to DNA. Now, if you get what I told you DNA means, 
and damage to that what do you get you get a damage of your life line of your of your timeline the life that you were destined to live because you used your free will one over here you see this fork in the road right here you in this route and you pick the fucking flaming hot cheetos and hot sausage and pickled fucking egg or you pick this route and you just ignored it and bought a bottle of water i mean hopefully it wasn't aquafine or dasani or anything but you bought a bottle of water and maybe a granola bar or something and i wouldn't even i would I'd buy a cliff bar because it has organic soy and all this shit i mean even though you can argue with me about the soy and how the estrogen but that's that's another issue so yeah, don't pick the junk food. That shit fucks up your timeline. Yeah, I mean, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to live a life full of instant gratification because that, that's all it's gonna be. If you keep choosing the junk food, all you, the only gratification you're gonna be getting to yourself, the only serotonin that's gonna be pumping in your brain is gonna be from instant gratification of getting something that you wanted. You know what I'm saying, like. Oh, that salt and vinegar, I know how it's going to make me feel, and that taste, it hits me where I need it to hit me. Boom, so you get that, but what you fail to realize is what what positive benefits you totally threw out of the window by choosing that salt and vinegar chip, you know what I'm saying? And as, that's all I got to say, I mean, please people just cut back on the junk food. If you want, look, here's an, do an experiment. Try to go even three days without junk food and tell me what happens see the difference in your life notice uh, the change in your thoughts because that, that's one thing when you when you eat junk food even your, your whole thought process gets fucked up like like for example let's say if you want to be you've had dreams your whole life of being a celebrity but when you get those thoughts of being a celebrity you get so happy that you just subconsciously grab you know what I'm saying a bag of chips and you're just eating, you know what I'm saying, the fucking bag of chips. I just thinking about you being a celebrity. Well, eating chips isn't going to get you to being a celebrity. I mean, I know it's, it's something very small, like, oh, it's just one bag of chips. But what if you grab a bag of chips every time you have that thought of becoming a celebrity? Every, look, you eat a bag of chips, and you're like, yeah, celebrity. And then you're like, I need a soda. You grab your fucking Coke, boom, that's more toxin, more bullshit in you, boom. And then by the time you finish that soda, you're already like, oh, man. I'm never gonna be a celebrity. That, that was that was stupid. Like, fuck me out of all people. Like, celebrity. So, all I have to say is, cut the junk food, please. I mean, and the only reason I'm preaching this to the internet world, the digital realm, is because the more people that start to awaken and start living their life in sync with their destiny like I am I'm not trying to brag it's just what I'm doing I've, I've noticed I've noticed the flaws that I've had for the past you know what I'm saying 20 years so um, once everyone starts to synchronize themselves everything's gonna start happening smoother and smoother and the more like it's like the matrix you know what I'm saying like the more unconscious sleepers we have out here the more agents we have because they they're they're unconscious so they're going to be working for a conscious force whether it be through my behalf or a more powerful conscious source see what i'm saying so that that's why an individual has to also increase their uh, their potency of consciousness i guess because you don't want to be overpowered by another consciousness with for example the powers that be or whatever you know what i'm saying you want to be in sync in tune in sync to the vibrations that's going to take you to where you want to go and junk food is not the way to go <laughs> it's not so uh hopefully you guys enjoyed this. this is the first lesson out of many so get fucking used to it um i'll, I'll probably hit y'all with another one tomorrow look at me i'm getting fucking goosebumps already just thinking about the one for tomorrow it's gonna be pretty serious um and yeah that's that'll be all have a great one, you guys, and try the junk food thing. Hit me with a reply. Let me know how the fuck is going. Let me know how your life changed. If any bitches get on your dick or anything, let me fucking know. And, uh, yeah, I'll let your boy. Nasty Nat. Be part the retard. So that's the main reason why I'm on a Kush-only diet.